Well, it's June in Hawke's Bay and uh, New Zealand's been suffering again from shortage of feed throughout most of the country. But uh, more importantly, just in the last few weeks, there's been some increases in the fertiliser price that have been um, put out. What, what that means basically on a normal dairy farm is that uh, what was around $880 a cow to run a cow for a year has now become along with the costs in terms of fertiliser, fuel, um, accountancy costs, electricity rates, it'll add about another $130 per cow to the cost of running a cow for a year. That means that if we're looking at averages, in the past we've talked about 800 to 880, now it's gone from 880 to about 1,000, 1,030 dollars to basically just keep a cow surviving for the year milked. On top of that we have to add in the cost of nitrogen and supplementary feeds. Oh and grazing off. So if we add in the supplements and the nitrogen as well, which a lot of dairy farmers are doing, most dairy farmers are actually not self-contained. They are buying in between 15 and 30 percent of their requirements each year. If we do that we will probably increase it by another $300 per cow on top of that which means that we're talking around $1,300, $1,400 to run a cow for the year. Now that looks good at the moment because at the moment the uh, payout has been $7.90, probably $7, give or take, next year is what Fonterra has announced. So that doesn't look too bad. So that means that basically a cow that's doing around 360 kilograms of milk solids will be earning about $2,500, $2,600 a year from her milk solids and replacement cull plus bobby calf and it's going to be costing you around $1300 a year to do that. So that might not look too bad until you actually start to look at those last cows that you're keeping on your farm. If in fact you are putting an additional cow on and she is being fully fed on bought in feed and feed at the moment is around 40 cents a kilogram dry matter you're adding another $2,000 to that cow. $2,000 plus $1,300, $3,300 to run that additional cow for the year. Income, $2,500. And we haven't even started to look at finances yet. So this impact of fertiliser going from around $300, $350 a tonne to probably closer to $750 a tonne means that costs for dairying this year have increased and the $7 a kilogram milk solids may not make the profit that you think it will.